What's going on guys? It's Bobby here at Stingray Alley and today we're showing you a 1977 Corvette. Now 77 is a cool year because it's got the flat back glass so the back is not um, doesn't have that bubble back glass and this is the L48 version it's got factory air, automatic, power steering, power brakes, headlights still work, wipers still work. This is one you can hop into and drive. Now beautiful color combination. This is the first one I think my dad's had. My dad's been here for 40 years that he's had in this tan kind of color. I know it kind of made me look a little bit yellow in the video or photos, but this is tan and the interior is tan. Beautiful color combination. I just love the luggage rack on the back. So we're about to go take it for a test drive here in a second, but here's a little video of it. There's the luggage rack in the back. There's a flat back glass. It is T-tops obviously. So let's go take this car for a spin. All right, so here's the interior, guys. Now the cool, probably the best thing about this car, besides the AC blowing ice cold, it is a one pump start. So give it some gas, it fires right up for you guys. Um, like I said, it is factory air, so the AC works. It's on the max AC, high um, air output, ice cold. Let it idle for a bit. Now the only problem with this car is the tachometer is slightly off. So sometimes when you're driving, it's going to say like 4,000, 5,000 RPMs when it's not actually that high RPMs. Oh, and the fuel gauge stays lit on and does have fuel in the car. So let's get this baby going, put it in drive. It's going to squat down a bit as all Corvettes do. Let's go take it for around the block. Now the odometer reads 93,000 miles. So, you know, everybody that sells you a Corvette, it's just a shocker that none of them are over 100,000 miles. I mean, it's unbelievable, right? If you guys can't hear the sarcasm, it, nobody knows how many miles are on these old cars. I mean, back in the day, everybody spun them back. This engine has been completely rebuilt, so it doesn't even have 90,000 miles on it. Probably not, probably has a lot less. So if you're looking for a Corvette, which you guys probably are, don't go by what the odometer says, unless you have actual documentation from the day it was bought. The miles, what the odometer says, it means nothing. But this Corvette right here drives absolutely perfect. No squeaks, no rattles. Shifts through all the gears. I say all the gears, it only has three gears because it's a three-speed automatic. So it doesn't have very much top-end power, but it does drive excellent. Now, these are obviously not uh, the fastest cars in the world or the fastest model Corvettes. We're going 60 miles an hour right now. Uh, but these are great cruiser cars. See, so the car pulled down in front of us. Brakes work perfect. These are great cruiser cars. We can take them, go on a Sunday cruise, go on a date night. Uh, hey, maybe your wife kicked you out of the house. You need to blow off some steam, you hop in this car, take the T-tops off, go to the club, pick up a new girl, right? Just kidding, we're, we're morally correct here. We're gonna go, go to church in these cars. Every Sunday, take the tops off and just cruise, honk the horn, which that's, I was actually surprised that worked. I didn't know if that worked, but it, it works. I may have to raise the price on this car now. Um, the headlights do work in this car, wipers do work, which is extremely rare, because I don't know how many of these C3 Corvettes I've bought in personally that they don't work and it's just a nest egg of uh, issues for me. Now the picks on this car, it does obviously have a little bit of scratches here and there in the paint. It's a 1977 model car with the original paint. It does have a crack right here in the dash. It has a tiny little tear in the seat. Um, but other than that, I mean, here's a little something, a little pick right there. But other than that, just a little cosmetic stuff, it's a solid car. I mean, I don't really think you can go out and buy a better one for this kind of money. Um, I sure know if you go to Mecham Auctions or Bear Jackson, you definitely ain't gonna find a car like this in this kind of price range. And trust me, I go to a lot of those auctions. And you gotta pay a commission fee on all of them. But I'm gonna pop the headlights for you guys so you guys can see those pop up. So, and um, we do sell a lot of these cars out of state. So if you need help acquiring financing, if you got good credit, I can help you. I got some banks I can recommend to you. I do work with some shippers. I can help you get some shipping quotes to ship it to wherever you go. Um, I sell very few of these cars here in South Texas, Corpus Christi, where I live. We sell them all over the country. Um, but if you do live here locally, I will offer some in-house financing. So just give us a call at 361-992-1104 and we'll take care of you guys.